Hey guys, so in today's video, you're gonna be packing with me for my trip to Europe, which I am really excited about, but I'm also really nervous because I've only been out of the country once. This is gonna be a pretty big trip, so it's three weeks or 21 days, and we're gonna be kind of bouncing around all over the place. So we're flying from SFO to Paris, and we're gonna be there for a few days, and then we're flying to Venice, and then Lake Como, Milan, Florence, Perugia, and Rome. So we're pretty much gonna be in, I don't know what that was, six or seven different hotels. Um, we're gonna be in each place for a few days. So I have to pack very strategically because I'm going to be bringing basically a suitcase with me everywhere I go and I have to carry my own stuff. John said he would not help me at all. <laughs> and the biggest, most exciting challenge for me today is I'm gonna try and fit all my makeup for three weeks in this bag right here. This is from the NYX Face Awards. It was in one of the gift bags and I was like, that is a perfect size. So I'm gonna try it. We'll see if it actually works. I don't know if it's actually uh, gonna be able to do it. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so for my hair, I'm just bringing two things. I'm going to bring my straightener because I don't leave anywhere without my straightener. And then I'm bringing my new me curling iron. So this is the five in one, but I'm only gonna bring the 32 millimeter barrel. This is because all the days that I don't wash my hair and I need something to do with it. So I'm bringing an entire pack of elastic hair ties because I'll still probably manage to lose all of them, but I really like the Remington ones. They're good for um, doing fluffy, dirty buns and fluffy ponytails and stuff. The only hair styling products I'm gonna bring are my Aussie Sprunch Hairspray, my Big Sexy Hair Dry Shampoo because I'm sure my hair will be dirty a lot and I love this stuff and then my teasing comb so that way I can get rid of all my bedhead calyx. And then I like to put everything in Ziplocs, that's how I pack. So I'll start building this one up right now. So for my shampoo and conditioner, I'm bringing this Tidora Rainforest at Dawn and at Dusk shampoo and conditioner. Um, it does scare me because this isn't a lot, but this stuff smells really, really good and it's good for your hair and scalp and all that stuff. Okay, so now, of course, I need contact solution because I'm a contact wearer. And I'm bringing a full bottle of my Clear Care. It's 12 ounces. The travel size one, I think, is only three ounces, and I know that's not gonna be enough. So I'm gonna bring a brand new one. And then I also bring just a regular contact solution because sometimes I use this for eye drops or if I just need a quick change because this stuff, you have to let it sit overnight before, or else it'll burn your eyeballs off. Um, I also got a little Purell hand sanitizer. I don't actually use hand sanitizer at all right now, but I feel like maybe I'll start using it. I'm sure I won't, I just kind of wanted to buy one. Okay, I'm also gonna bring my little CeraVe moisturizer. This I use, I still use it as a moisturizer every once in a while, but most of the time I use it when I'm doing my makeup. And for soap, I'm gonna bring this. I am totally a bar soap person. I think there's only two kinds of people in this world, bar soap people and body wash people, and I'm definitely a bar person. So I'm gonna only bring one bar, which I think is enough, and I use the Dove Gentle Exfoliating one, um, and then just a little soap saver, guys, so that way I can bring it with me to the hotels we go to, because I hate hotel body wash. I feel like it makes my body feel like chalk. For my face wash, I'm bringing this Proactive Skin Smoothing Exfoliator. This actually came just in time. I got it at the NYX Face Awards. It was in the little goodie bag. So I'm gonna bring this one. I think two ounces is enough. I'm hoping so. And then I have my MAC Mineralized Charge Water Moisture Gel because that's still one of my favorite moisturizers. And then my MAC Mineralized Charge Water Moisture Eye Cream. Probably bring in too much skincare. Um, I'm also gonna bring my Nourish Face Cleanser. This is one I've been using lately and I really like it. And I just got this little travel size one. So I'm gonna bring that and then also the face serum so that way if my skin gets really, really dry, I don't know what's gonna go down out there, so I'm gonna bring this one too. Okay, so this is all the brushes that I'm bringing and yes, this is just face. Um, so I'm bringing my foundation brush. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. This is still one of my favorites to use. For a concealer, I'm bringing this one and this is one of the crown brushes that I always use. I've talked about it, I think, a bajillion times. I'm bringing my MAC 130 brush because that's what I use to buff out all my concealer and I do plan on washing it. Um, this is what I use to set underneath my eyes. This is the up and up brush that I've been using lately. Then I have a Sigma F30 large powder brush. That's what I use to set my whole face. I have this, uh, this is what, what is this? 
contour brush, my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. That's what I use to give myself a nose job every day. And then I have this one, which is a Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush, and that's what I use for my bronzer just because, I don't know, I've just been using it lately because I don't have another bronzer brush. And then this is what I use for around my eye as a highlight. This is the Bare Minerals Tapered Blush Brush. I don't actually like this brush very much, but it... This is my blush brush that everybody wants, the IB126 from Crown. And then I have this one, which is what I use for my highlight, like my uh, Mary Luminizer, just so it doesn't put too much on. And then this one, which is a crown brush, and that's what I use to... Uh... And then I have my Beauty Blender. This one's huge. So that is all the face brushes, and that's actually me doing a really good job narrowing it down. All right, so for my eye brushes, this is everything I'm bringing. Um, this one is what I use for my eyebrows. This is the mini liner brush from Crown. This is my winged liner brush, can't live without it, the C160 and 1 8 from Crown. This is what I use to set my waterline with. It's a Bare Minerals Soft Focus Liner Brush. I have a MAC 217 brush. I can never leave the house without that one if I ever plan on doing my makeup. This is a C431 Precision Detail Brush from Crown. This is, I don't know, it's just a nice pencil brush. This is the Sigma, what is it? Sigma Pencil E30 Brush. I love this one for doing any smoking underneath the eyes. This is another Crown one. I put it in my giveaway. Don't remember what it's called. I think it's C441. Or is that what this one's called? No. This one's a C441, I'm pretty sure, from Crown. This is my disgusting, gunky Crown one that I use for my paint pot. This is what I use on my lid. This is just like a random brush from a kit. And then this is another Crown tapered blending brush. These are the only brushes that I'm bringing on my trip. And this is a Bootsy version of a brush roll. Okay, so I wanted to condense my makeup as much as possible, so I'm only bringing one Z palette. And I just did some depotting. Uh, these are NARS things and this is MAC. I actually, I didn't let it uh, dry, so this is actually glued in here now. <laughs> it's like, yeah, those are stuck in there, but that's cool. Um, so I put pretty much all my blushes, shadows, highlighting, contouring, bronzing, everything that I could in this palette, so that way it was easy. So this is Sculpt from MAC, this is my contour color, and then Accentuate from MAC, what I like to use as one of my bajillion highlighters. So this is Buff Blush from MAC, it's one of my favorite, goes with everything kind of blushes, and I don't know why I'm bringing so many blushes, but I just like to have options. This is Smitten from Makeup Geek, and this is, oh, it's kind of glue, oh, okay. I just depotted that one too. So I just depotted this one too, and this is Cheeky Bugger from MAC, so it's one of the Kelly Osborne blushes. Bronzer, this is NARS Laguna Bronzer, um, one of my favorite bronzers to use right now. This is NARS Galapagos Eyeshadow, it's one of my favorite browns, it's like literally to die for. I have Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek, this is MAC Blanc Type, and Makeup Geek Corrupt, so just a black eyeshadow because I can't live without a black eyeshadow. And then this is MAC Uninterrupted, so one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. You can see how yellow it looks compared to everything else. Alright, so I'm bringing my two MAC concealers, and this is NC20 and this is NW20. Okay, and then obviously I'm bringing my Studio Fix. I'm bringing uh, my MAC Face and Body Foundation, so this one is actually a really good lightweight foundation, so days that I just know I'm not trying to do the most with my face. This is shade C2, Studio Finish Concealer, shade NC15. This is what I use on my around my eyebrows or underneath, whatever, for a highlight. For my primer, I'm bringing my NYX Photo Loving Primer. This is what I've been using lately. I really like it, um, especially where I live now. It's a lot more humid, and I think over in Europe, it's like in the 70s or 80s, but I think it's pretty humid, right? I'm bringing my Cameo powder because this is still my favorite under eye setting powder. Oh no, we're starting to fill up over here. Okay, so then for my eyes, I'm bringing my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is still my favorite base to use for eyeshadow. And then I'm bringing my Inglot Gel Liner and then I'm bringing my Prep and Prime Light Boost. Of course, I need to have my eyebrows on at all times. So I'm bringing my Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. 
Okay, and then to actually set my makeup, my face, I'm bringing the Select Sheer Press Powder. This is shade NC30. I'm still bringing my Mary Luminizer because I just don't want to have to live without it. And then my Hard Candy Welcome Matte. This is the mattifying powder that I really like. It's really similar to a mineral veil, and I'm almost out. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but I got this at Walmart. Okay, so this also came in that NYX goodie bag, which was incredible. This is just a kind of giant mirror, whatever, but it stands up, I think. But I thought that would be like a really good size mirror. I don't know, I picture myself like doing my makeup on a train or something. Is that what people do in Europe? I don't know. Um, I'm bringing my Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner. This is one of the perversion ones, and it does twist up so I don't have to worry about bringing a sharpener. And then I'm bringing my Perversion Mascara. I'm bringing some lashes. Is that ridiculous? No. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna bring three or four pairs. I'm gonna bring two pairs of Soho lashes and probably two pairs of 102 lashes. Okay, so for my lipsticks or lip products, it was really hard for me to decide what I wanna bring, so I'm just going with a few. So the first one, this is Velvet Teddy, and this is one of their matte lipsticks. I feel like this is just like, I'm gonna be out in Rome, trying to look mature, doing the thing, learning about history. Bringing Snob. This is for when I'm in Milan, checking out the fashion. And then I'm bringing Strip Poker from MAC. It's one of the Kelly Osbourne ones. This is when I'm in Paris, doing the most. And then just two glosses. So I'm gonna bring my NARS Turkish Delight because it's literally the most. And then I'm bringing one of the new LA Girl Glaze lip paints in the color Elude. I don't even know, I'm pretty much bringing all the same color, right? Except for Velvet Teddy. I don't know. These colors make me the happiest though. So I think I'm gonna bring Elude because that color is maize. Literally, that's all the makeup I'm gonna be using. For shoes, I haven't decided on what sneakers I'm gonna bring yet, but these I'm kind of obsessed with right now, although I haven't worn them out yet, so I don't know if it's a really good walking shoe. But these sneakers are really cute, so I might bring these. These I got on ASOS.com. I'm most likely bringing my Chucks because these are really comfortable shoes. But I'm also gonna bring my, my combat boots. They're really, really comfortable, and they can be like my dress shoes or whatever. They're actually really comfortable to walk around in because they have this squishy rubber sole and it has a platform on it. So I'll probably wear these quite a bit out there um, if I don't feel like wearing sneakers or if my toes hurt or something, I can wear these because they're really, really comfortable. And then I'm pretty much bringing like every single t-shirt that I own. So I have like all sorts of different t-shirts and I'm realizing now how many patterns I wear. And then for jeans, oh yeah, I'm bringing the overalls because these will be so comfortable no matter where I'm going. If somebody that actually lives over in Europe can tell me if I'm gonna look like a complete idiot wearing these, let me know. I'm bringing some pairs of cozy jeans. So these are luckies that I have had since high school. I wish they still made them because it's actually real denim, which nobody does anymore. I feel like everywhere you go, the jeans are made of freaking like pajama material. I'm bringing a pair of my Express jeans. These I got a few years ago. They're just skinny, uh, I don't know. But you can roll them, you can cuff them. They look cute, they're really comfortable, and they fit really well around my waist. And then I'm also bringing these jeans, which I actually got from Wet Seal about a year ago. They're just kind of my ripped up, cool, looking cool, but I'm still trying to be like kind of not cool. But these are cute and I like to wear these with just t-shirts, whatever. And they were cheap, they were like 30 bucks. And then I know I already said I'm bringing yoga pants, but I'm also bringing some sweatpants. I know a lot of you guys had questions on my video, how I edit my videos. You wanna know what sweatpants I wore? They stayed popular on the crotch. <laughs> They're from popular demand, I wasn't wearing them backwards, that's actually how they are. And then I'm a big time snacker, so I'm bringing a box of Cheez-Its, and I'm also bringing my Lifesavers gummies, and these are the Collisions one. We'll see if it actually makes it. Anyway, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching.